And welcome back. And we're moving into the call. I'm sorry we started without you, but we're going to catch you up now, right? Uh, we're talking about an upcoming uh, mixer. This is about people who want to adapt a plant-based lifestyle. You've heard about veganism, vegetarianism. Well, we have uh, two people who do only consume, uh, well, b both of you are vegan, um, plants and natural uh, processing in how you prepare your food. We have with us on set, it's Donaldine yes. Brown and Abdullah Muktasid. Good, Good morning and morning. welcome. Right, Good thank morning. You. Okay, so I, I wanna start with the differentiation between you two immediately. So you are new, new to veganism and you have been doing it for how many years, Abdullah? Uh, I became vegan at around about 2005, but I was vegetarian uh, early 90s. Okay. So I uh, made the transition to veganism, and now I'm working my way toward raw vegan. Wow. Oh. Raw so so I still like that, that, that's a great foundation for us as to what that means. So let's start. <laughs> Vegetarian? Vegetarians uh, do not eat meat. They, they Animal? Uh, Food? Yeah, yeah. Uh, they process? they call themselves a lot of different types of <laughs> vegetarians: ovo, which egg and lato, milk, milk. Uh, and pescatarian. They okay, eat so fish. pescatarian eats fish, fish, but no meat. Uh, no other no meat. No other, no other meat. meat. <laughs> and <That's> ovotarian <laughs> eats eggs. Yes. But no other animal product. Exactly. Right. A lacto. Is, yeah, they could is it lactoterian? Yeah. Yes. yes. Uh, drinks dairy or yes. the milk, yeah. but nothing else. So they won't have eggs. No. Okay. Good. Well, and they have ovo latte. Okay. So <laughs> ovo lacto means you have <laughs> both. Both, but no meat. Right. Okay. Not even fish. Right. All right. So that's your vegetarian. Yes. yes. All right. And after vegetarian, if you want to step it up a bit, as you've recently done, you are. Vegan. Vegan, which means? No meat and no animal byproducts. Like? Okay. Uh, it, one good way to describe it is plant-based diet, which is uh, fruit, vegetables, nuts, seeds, uh, grain, uh, mushrooms. And know. spices and herbs. Yes. Of yeah. course. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> A very interesting thing is honey. Yeah, people, I, I really don't understand that one myself. That's a heavily disputed <laughs> document. <laughs> <That's laughs> exactly. yeah. Yeah. Uh, because they say that uh, she, she done the research that, that the honey is produced from uh, yeah. the... It's actually the, um, I've been researching and it, it's actually the poop of the bee. Hmm. So they go and they harvest the pollen and then they excrement yes and that's what they gather from for the honey that's what we get is honey yeah, yeah my and argument. some people just say they transport it transport it back so it's not really i'm kidding thankfully i'm not vegan i can't i can't i love honey but so you consume honey i do and i'm vegan but a lot of vegans say they do not Okay. And, and my argument is that, you know, a uh, bee is not uh, an animal, it's an insect. And, and if you're eating fruit and vegetables, and you're eating uh, insects. <laughs> you know, you put uh, uh, some grain in a, yeah. a sealed jar and, and come back and it's been half eaten. Yeah, we so that's true. That's true. So l let's be clear, because when you talk about all these different classifications, what's the motive? behind becoming any form of vegetarian or a vegan? Um, health, well, that's my motive. That's the motive for most people that I spoke to um, who are now vegan or vegetarian. Um, it's a health issue. So you get sick, you go to the doctor, and the first thing the doctor says, oh, you got to lose weight. Or, oh, this is wrong with you. You have diabetes. You need to change whatever you eat. You need to stop eating this. You need to stop eating that. And then eventually they take away just about all meat source mm -hmm. from you. Yeah. And then you go start having, you're forced to kind of eat just fruits and vegetables. 
So you did it for health reasons, and for you? Well, I was in a, a crisis myself. Uh, it, it was a journey for me. Started back in '74 when, um, just before I became uh, Muslim, uh, I, they say get that swine out your diet. It's you know it's <laughs> killing you. You know so. Uh, at that point, I give that up, but then there, uh, I tell my story at the event, uh, what uh, was my transition and what happened uh, uh, during, during that time, but um, it was a medical situation. I, I, I was, uh, had a physical and they told me, the doctor told me that uh, my cholesterol was in the 300s and I had a heart murmur. And he gave me a sheet of paper, said, you can eat this, and this is what you can't eat. And uh, he looked at me like, okay, you're knocking on the door, what you going to do? <laughs> <laughs> so that was that Their situation. Yeah. 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 So um, there are also people there for the ecology, uh, the uh, situation, then the humanitarian situation, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, and, 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 you know, uh, I don't advise people to come in just to lose weight. That's a byproduct of yeah. getting healthy. Yeah. You know, so, um, you know, if you put um, a carrot there and a piece of meat and come back the next day, uh, the carrot's okay, but you might not want to eat that, that <laughs> meat. It, it poisons you. Yeah. Yeah. And it, and, and it and it's, does the same thing internally. It rots and decays inside of you. Yeah. So you, uh, the doctor said, I don't know what's wrong with you, and I know what's wrong with you. You're being poisoned from the inside. Leases free radicals into your blood system, and um, it creates all kinds of problems. Can I, can I just switch gears here? Because you said you were turning vegan. Are you vegetarian now? No. No, you're um, going straight I from jumped meat straight, straight to vegan. Exactly. I jumped Deep straight how, to the extreme. How long now? Um, it's been 10 months. And what has been the difference? Um, everything. I used to have migraines. Um, I no longer have that. I used to have pain in the joints, pain all over. I no longer have that. Insomnia. I go to bed at 7.30, jump up at 4.30, ready to do my exercise now. And over the past 10 months, the biggest thing for me was the weight loss. I'm now at 95 pounds in 10 months. You and lost 95 pounds? Yes, I lost 95 pounds in 10 months. And That's like a whole other person. <laughs> exactly. At first, congratulations. The, the, yeah. Thank you. At first, the weight loss wasn't an issue. Now I'm like, okay, I want, I want to be at a hundred pounds by the time I complete a year, because now I have everything. I now have energy to yeah. go out and run, do exercise, stuff like that. So was, was it difficult, especially going from meat eater? I mean, you. What did you eat a lot of? What kind of animal products did you eat a lot of before? Well, I'm Belizean, so <laughs> was it chicken, chicken <laughs> pigtails, um, yeah. love cheese. pigtails, cheese. I still can't do without my cheese, so that's the biggest thing. That's the thing that I try to make most as a vegan. Yeah. Um, I miss my meat. I drink. I used to do a lot of milk. Yeah. So we used to drink. Now I make my own milk. So stuff like that, that, those are the things that, and now I have my meat substitute. I make my patties from um, like lentils or from um, chickpeas and different stuff like that. I'm forced to learn yeah. different methods of cooking. You know, you know they say that, uh, I'm, I'm pescatarian. Um, okay. So uh, one of the things I learned early was that you, you either eat food as medicine or medicine as food. Mm -hmm. And culturally, you were talking about Belize, in terms of what we eat, is very cultural. Almost every national dish has to have some major meat. Mm -hmm. um, and in Belize, the lifestyle is extremely expensive. Could you yeah. talk to us about, because it's a lifestyle, that, that's, I want to more take it away from what they, as you were saying. It is not a diet. Exactly. Yeah. It that's, is that's a lifestyle. Not, I want to lose weight. Exactly. No, this is a lifestyle change. Because in Belize, you have to put your money where your mouth is or your time where your mouth is to actually mm -hmm. prepare it. So could you talk to us about the difference? I don't know if you've lived somewhere else before and have a comparison between the availability of, uh, of ready-made products um, and the cost of it in Belize as compared to other places. Well, me personally, uh, I'm three years in Belize next month. Wow. 
Uh, moved here from Atlanta, Georgia, uh, U.S. And uh, Atlanta is up and coming in a lot of different areas, the music industry, the, the um, movie industry, and there's a, a lot of uh, resources for us uh, uh, being able to eat this lifestyle. You know, it's you, I'm a, a bachelor, so I got to know where I can go eat. <laughs> <laughs> And, you know, but here I've been uh, having to get in the kitchen and fend for myself. And, and I go to the market and I come back with uh, uh, food and, and, and it's helping me get uh, uh, to that raw part as well. Yeah. So uh, being in Cayo, uh, there are a couple of places that, that offer uh, things on their menu. Uh, I don't know if I should give a name. Yeah. But, uh, like Chuck. Uh, 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 Wobble Wobble Limp. Mm -hmm. uh, they have like one item on the menu that is vegan, yeah. but they have a couple other items that they were adjusted for me to yeah. make it. And then uh, Koisana has a whole list of stuff yeah. that is actually vegan, or they'll take the cheese off of it or something yeah. like that. So eating. Uh, Beacon is a lot easier than, than I've seen uh, when I lived in Belmont wow. or where else. Well, it has become so popular globally. You know, I, I find that pretty much most restaurants, I can find a at least a vegetarian option. Mm -hmm. Maybe not vegan, but vegetarian. So there is a, a broadening of our perspective, uh, especially as a, as a tourism-based uh, economy. As you say but that, I'm sorry to cut you As you say that, I mun must mention um, Maya Mountain Lodge. They're one of our biggest supporters for this event yeah. right now. And they are completely turning their entire resort into a healthy, like a healthy haven. Nice. Um, so they offer multitudes of vegan and vegetarian food. Um, they offer you a yoga, they have a yoga space where they mm -hmm. offer free yoga, um, again, starting in November. So they, they offer a lot of different things on their menu and for the most vegans and vegetarians. There's well. a correlation between your dietary choices and your life choices. Um, studies have shown that people who um, have a more disciplined diet, whether it's vegetarian, vegan, vegetarian, are more likely to take other healthy choices, like for example, exercise. And, and other things. So I wanted to broad because there is more so than just losing weight and I really have to keep on repeating mm -hmm. that to people. My question really is in terms of what is different for you in terms of the way you live? I'll give you a simple example for me that was hard. You eat a lot more regularly. You become hungry. In three hours you have a full meal, you go to Mama Chen, you have a very nice meal, and then by three o'clock, Man, you're famished. <laughs> um, can you tell us other things that you've told us the good sides of it? You've had weight loss, you've had um, more energy, more sleep energy. better, mm -hmm. less headaches. But what is the downside? The um, challenges? For me, I noticed that, well, I don't like vegetables. <laughs> <laughs> and that's, that's exactly wait, that's wait, 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 wait. <laughs> you became vegan and you don't. I don't like vegetables, so it has you to You really wanted to be hard good. on yourself, didn't you? It, it, has, it has to taste good for me to eat it, right? So I kind of have to improvise a lot. But um, I find that B12 is not something that is in most fruits or yeah. vegetables, and that's one of the things that your body needs for you to, serve, to be able to survive. And so um, my replacement for that, I found, I did a lot of research on this and found that um, aloe vera has some inactive B12 that helps to break it down whenever you're getting it from wherever else. But Nani also has um, B12 in it that your body could use. And of course, people are looking at you like, aloe vera, uh-uh, <laughs> Nani, no. But I actually consume a lot of that. Um, yeah. To help because it that. is important to to get nutrient to get all your macronutrients exactly. um, requirements met, and that's where you know it can get tricky. But one of the common misconceptions, you know, and I think that people have is people think vegetarian and people think veganism, and they think you know rabbit food, <laughs> um, and especially in Belize, where Possibly. all they ever want to give you is iceberg lettuce as a salad. Yeah. 
please stop if you're still doing that. Thank um, you. But, but it's so much more. And I think you, you have a plate here, which I think we can, we can definitely show. There's pizza, which is, that also looks very delicious. Yes. Mm -hmm. But this does not look, if you show this to somebody, this is not what you imagine no. uh, vegan. Yeah. This is vegan, right? Yes, That's vegan. Place to Completely look like. vegan. And you close your eyes. So you have a cheesy pasta. Yeah. You have a sausage like. And that's a is, loaf. No, no, this is a loaf of bread. Uh, loaf. And those are nuggets yes. in addition to sauté veg. And I'm telling you, Marlene, if you close your eyes and you ask somebody to taste and don't tell them what it is. They would know. They, they would really know. No. 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 So who prepared this? Which one of you? Um, <laughs> I did. Um, these come pre-packaged pre by J Marks. Um, the so cashew loaf. The cashew loaf. She makes them in her own kitchen. Okay. Those are awesome. And then, yes, Those they are, are perfect yeah. for sandwiches. Oh. Um, yeah, it's good for just about everything. Mm. And then the nuggets. My, I usually make use the nuggets um, for when I'm doing pasta mm -hmm. for my boys. It mm -hmm. goes perfect in the. Um, with the sauce and stuff like that. So. And here is the most important pa part. How does the pasta have cheese? Because it's vegan cheese. Um, this morning, we were kind of, I had to make sure that I was on his time. <laughs> Not the least <laughs> time, but his time. <laughs> and so um, I did the quick version. So I just used, this one is made of nutritional yeast. OK. And a bunch of other seasonings mm -hmm. in it. So but you, otherwise, you make it out of nuts. Yes, otherwise it's made from the cashew nuts or from um, tofu. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, I have to give a plug to Vegan Bites in BTL Park. Yeah. Uh, guys, yeah. I'm into it. Because a lot of the non misconception, expanding from what Malani was saying, is that there's no taste. Completely opposite. Because yeah. there is no meat, somehow the culinary skills is just skyrocketed. There is a <coughs> mushroom burger that he does. Good mm -hmm. God. If you try it, and I know I've said God twice in this segment, <laughs> but it's his work in yeah. terms yeah. of taste. Mm -hmm. But, and, and I was joking with you about that earlier. In the, all the interviews I've done with vegetarian or vegan chefs, or anybody who just has the lifestyle and has to do it at home, mm -hmm. there is a great amount of innovation that is required mm -hmm. in the kitchen. Because you can recreate anything. Cake, exactly. And you're talking like sweets, mm -hmm. right to I mean, look, you have, there was pizza on, on, the, uh, on, on the screen a while ago. We have cheesy pasta. We have breads. We have what's something that requires a lot of meat. You can have a burger, whether yeah. with mm -hmm. a mushroom or with a bean patty. Exactly. Um, look. See? You can have yeah. steak. Yeah. I have seen a, a what's about watermelon made of cabbage. I, I did one made of cabbage. Uh, wow. Yeah. So and you're... Gluten. Yeah. Yeah. I like. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, but there are a, a multitude of seasonings. You know, you have to get the ones that that you like, and 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 uh, and use those seasons, and they and they tend to blend together for a really good taste. Uh, her young people, uh, they. They like my cooking better than her. Yeah, I don't <laughs> cook. I'm just I, doing this because I have to. Yeah, I you like buy it in the store. I like thyme. Uh, you know, get some fresh thyme or you know, uh, powdered yeah. thyme. That that's a good one. And I love garlic. I put garlic in most everything mm -hmm. that that's I good. make. You continue with that cooking. You won't be a bachelor for long. <laughs> 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 What's the most innovative thing you've created as now vegan? Now vegan. Oh. Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna have to let brag. Her, Go ahead and brag. Let her, let her, uh, nah. Hey, I what? Um, the thing I like most from him is um, that. Well, my boys love his hummus. I have two teenage boys who are kind of forced to be eating vegan because that's all I'm gonna make. Mm -hmm. um, so they love his hummus, and I personally like his um, sautéed vegetables. Mm -hmm. So that's my favorite. Mm -hmm. He's the better cook. Mm -hmm. So I don't. Well, you gotta eat. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's move on to the mixer now. So tell us where this idea came from. Um, myself, I, I did it, and all, most of my friends were supposed to be doing it together. I won't call names right now, <laughs> but we were supposed to be doing the healthy thing together. And um, 
they go like, oh, you're too extreme or whatever. I can't do that. I can't go without me. And so we're trying to encourage everyone, like, it's not about losing weight. It's about being healthy. Um, some of them have diabetes or whatever. This actually helps you to get rid of that. Mm -hmm. um, I'm hoping if my uncle is well, he would be at the mixer. And he's a survivor of cancer. Well, five years now, he's been living with um, a survivor. And he's also a bit, well, transitioned vegan, but he went plant-based for mm -hmm. several years now. And so um, it's something that we're encouraging people, let's get healthy. We could do this together. So to be clear, when you say plant-based, it means it includes everybody. The it, vegetarian, the vegan, the raw vegan. Um, that's what we're talking about. Exactly. At the, at the mixer, we'll have vegetarians there. We have vegans there. Um, we have people showing you how to. So you'll get to learn how to do, um, how to make your own tofu, how to make your own cheese. Um, how to do your milk and then we have different people including a doctor telling you these are the benefits of it yeah. this is what happens when you become plant-based okay and where does it take place yeah. um, it'll be in San Ignacio sorry yeah. Belize people uh, we will be having Ouch. one in Belize soon but you guys can, <laughs> you guys can come to San Ignacio <laughs> exactly and it's a long weekend so yeah. that's no excuse um, so it'll be at the San, San Ignacio House of Culture, the new San Ignacio House of Culture, which is the old um, hospital, mm -hmm. and it's just right behind the, um, the new city, city hall building, okay. so it's in San Ignacio town itself. What time does it start? It starts at 10 a.m., goes through till 3 p.m. Um, mm -hmm. It has a price of $30, and that's because we'll give you vegan food that's cheap. that is Okay. Vegan food, you get your plate of food, your dessert, and a vegan drink. Um, made, of course, by Maya Moncton and Nature's, um, Nature's Kitchen, Mary and Sparkle. Thank you guys for that. Um, so they'll be providing us with food and your entrance to the activity so to get all that information. Hanging out with other vegetarians and vegans and learning to cook and making stuff and ship, swapping recipes. Yes, yeah, swapping recipes, learning how to do this, how do I do this. Um, we'll have other people there sharing their ideas. So if, you're, if you haven't started yet and you want to start to be healthy, this is a perfect opportunity for you. Um, if you're already in it and want new ideas, yeah. come join us. You'll also get that as well. The reason why I said it's affordable is because the average meal in Belize City, if you're having a healthy vegetarian, diet is about $14. Yep. So you're looking at it for $30, uh, at least half is just the meal. I'm not talking about information and the mixture. <laughs> and so the opportunity yes. to there. be with like-minded yes. people. And you'll get dessert. So wow. you get a, a vegan dessert. Yum. So it's like yeah. a $20 value <laughs> just in food. Exactly. That's not like $20 mm. or so in just food. You're making me consider, you know. So you should come. <laughs> it Wait. is... Oh, go ahead. Oh, I was just going to say she didn't add that she... Uh, got me to <laughs> be a presenter uh, and uh, my topic is uh, why vegan okay. and, I, and I started out by you know what we did earlier the, describing what vegan is because usually uh, when I ask people about vegan the first thing they do is uh, tilt their head to the side and say what's that <laughs> <laughs> so you know yeah. gotta educate people you know and and give them information that they can use and, and reasons. You, you got to continue educating yourself if you choose to change your lifestyle. And it is a lifestyle change yeah. and, uh, mm -hmm. that you need and to uh, get into. That's one of the things I wanted to say because it's not just for people who want to be vegetarian or vegan now. It can mm -hmm. be a slow introduction. A lot of people, like I was saying, have meatless meals now. So they, they have at least one day where they don't have meat. And it's a great way to start, to kind of adjust yourself if you want to pursue it or give your body a break from, from the meat as well. Exactly, mm -hmm. and all the preservatives. Yeah. I wanted to ask my final question in terms of where, where is your vision in terms of where you want to see this mixer go? Are you seeing economic side? Do you want to see more restaurants, more producers? It's just a personal thing in terms of you want to see families take it on. Where ideally do you want to see this mixer expand to or inspire? Um, 
I want it to be a, a, a Belize thing, a thing for all Belizeans to, to do. It's, it's just eating healthy. So it's just for us to all be healthy together, especially my family. Because, <laughs> <laughs> um, of course, we want them to live longer, and that's one of the benefits of being vegan or being plant-based. And I do have fam family members who are already plant-based. So they could, they, they are a lot of encouragements. Um, so I know hoteliers are already, already introducing it to their hotels. Most, a lot of hotels are now doing yeah. it. Um, restaurants, like you said earlier, are introducing vegetarian meals, but we don't want just vegetarian. We want, Beans. where I could actually go in and sit down and not have people look at me and go like, when I ask, does it have egg? <laughs> or please don't put cheese in it. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And it's, it's actually, it's just, a healthy thing. Let's yeah. get healthy together. You know, this is like probably the worst time of year to start. Um, Christmas is centered is around not gifts, but food. The food. Yeah. Exactly, <laughs> and that's something, and that's why, because these are options that there are options that you can use yeah. to go to all of that. We still eat our rice and beans. Yeah. yeah. We don't eat rice as often as we used to, but we still eat the rice and beans. And um, we actually, my sister is actually going to be at the, um, at the show because we'll have, we'll have stalls there. And she's having a stall where you could get vegan rum popo. So no eggs in it, no, um, no like condensed milk in it. It's just like coconut milk, almond milk. They give away secret stuff like Yeah, I know. <laughs> yes, she's going to kill me. But so we are kind of doing the, getting into the Christmas season yeah. with this as well. You know, and I, I, like anything else, when you have like-minded people coming together, it is a really enriching experience because you don't have to be explaining yourself. It's like they'll understand how yeah. you feel when you say, I have more energy or exactly. uh, the differences that I you feel. feel so this is a great <laughs> opportunity. Once again, October 13th, which is this Saturday, mm -hmm. 10 to 3 p.m. at the San Ignacio House, House, of, House of Culture. $30. You get a meal, you get dessert, and you get lots of education and recipes and everything to make your lifestyle here in Belize a bit easier. Thank you so much for coming in. Thank you, too, right. for having us. Thank We're going to go ahead and take our final break, and when we come back, we'll have our wrap-up, so stay tuned.